Hey folks, so we're back again with my journey into the X58 platform. Um, I've got my Asus system or board set up, um, which is where we kind of left things off. Uh, I've got the SSD, everything on there. I now have an actual triple channel kit. So I've got 12 gigs of matched memory on there with Windows installed, ready to go. Uh, so that's going to help us really kind of compare that and the Intel board I've also got to decide which one I end up with. Um, so yeah, I've just installed Windows, this is all pretty fresh. Uh, I'm going to now run Cinebench for the first time. Uh, let's see where this goes, so let's just quickly confirm that the processor is right. Rather than using the crappy zoom, I'll actually take you in. So you can see there we've got the X5675, my little 6 core lovely. Uh, let's run Cinebench for the first time. Now, last time, uh, yeah, fine. Last time uh, on the other board in the similar state but running just some random piles of memory I threw in there. I think we got somewhere around about 700. I'll have to check. So let's uh, let's run this one and then see what happens. Uh, I think what I might do is just pause for a second though and put this thing on a tripod because I don't fancy holding my hand out uh, while this takes maybe a minute or two to do its thing. Okay, we tripoded up. Sorry about the angle, but uh, don't know if you've gathered from the footage so far. I'm in a bit of a tweet situation. Let's hit run and see where we go. Okay, so 707, that's um, pretty much roughly what I was expecting. We may have got a little bit more than that last time, I can't quite remember. But that's perfectly fine, it's still an improvement from my overclocked i5 system. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll have a fiddle now and see if I can tweak things a little bit more. And maybe see what we can do with this. Exciting times. Right, so I've been fiddling around and um, just using the simple... Uh, base clock and um, multiplier changes just pushing them without fiddling around with the voltages and everything this is what I've been able to do so far I will say I have been also following the uh, guides I've seen online copying Tech yes City etc with, with basically the same board and the results have actually been going backwards uh, I've been getting just less and less per run um, so I don't know what is going wrong there but my last attempt which was I think four gigahertz. It I got a score of nine six five here. I really need to save these actually, um, but I've just bumped it up to four and a half gigahertz. Ah, there we go. Oh no, that's still going. I've just bumped it to four and a half gigahertz, and uh, let's see where it goes from there. I might have pushed it a bit too far because I've not increased the voltage or anything. I just had to record it just for uh, well, reference anyway. Seven oh three. Okay, so that's gone backwards. But just to show you, and I'm sorry because I'm working with my hands here. 
Okay, if I just turn it back on. Now that one, yeah, that did push it too far, or at least with what I'm fiddling with anyway. But if I go into the tools, thankfully I can save here. And if I just load profile one, which is my simple OC, head into here. You can see I've literally just popped this up to 150. That's at 25, and that's it. I've not done anything else to it, so it's 3.75 gigahertz. Sorry, not four. Give this thing a moment to boot up back into Windows. So again, this is at 3.75 gigahertz, which is fine. You know, I don't need the raw power, I suppose, as long as uh, what it's doing is quicker. Oh, there we are, 995. So you can see it's a really good score for an incredibly simple overclock. And obviously I'm yet to do much else testing to this, but uh, I think it's looking really quite promising. Um, I'm not too sure how the Intel will compare, or even if I'll get to the stage of testing it in comparison, because this really is working quite well at the moment. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's see uh, if I can break the 1000 CP, sorry, CB score without causing too much stress for everything else and so maybe I'll pop in a few extra sticks of RAM see if that does anything as well uh, woohoo I've been testing a bit more with the Intel board and I think I'm leaning towards the Asus one um, a couple of reasons the first one being the scores for Cinebench are quite low for just the default setting and overclocking with it is slightly more of a pain um, but also more practically speaking as much as I love the look of it it makes this strange noise. Uh, if I just rerun Cinebench again. I hope you can pick that up. My fans just kicked in there, but it's like a squealing noise. It's quite annoying. I did originally think it was the other uh, power supply I was using, if you check in my previous videos. But I'm now beginning to think it's actually this board. I mean, it definitely makes a noise when doing things. It's just quite frustrating really, I'm not too sure how I could even fix that. So I may just sell this one up and uh, continue with the Asus board, as pretty as this thing is, which to be fair, as far as the motherboards go, this is a bit of a looker. And if we check just how this is going. that noise is now gone but also we've got quite a low score there which uh, 
You can see there, 972 is some, one of the previous efforts from the Aces board, so I think we may have a winner, and it's not this. Right, here we go, I'm going to finally put the PC together. Um, as I've just outlined previously, uh, I'm going with the Aces board for this. Um, this has been backed up by uh, a lovely comment from one of you guys, uh, which kind of says the Aces board is also the one to go for. Uh, on top of this, obviously the overclock that I've tried, the brief overclock, uh, comes in at a much higher score um, than the Intel one. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, I'm going to press forward with this one. Um, we're going to be putting together the PC in this nice little case I've got uh, locally, just a Game Max case. Avoid fancy the white one. Um, nothing wrong with my nice black one there, but I've seen a few white ones on YouTube and stuff, and. Uh, I've always thought they're pretty cool, and this came up at a really good price. And a shout out to Game Max. Um, the actual a previous owner had lost this little filter thing here, uh, so a quick email to Game Max, and for the cost of postage, they sent me that out, which I'm really happy with. I've got the OCZ power supply. Uh, this just below here. Uh, it was pretty cool. I managed to pick it up for a dirt cheap price. Um, just one of these all-in-one water coolers. Uh, partly because I figured, well, if I'm going to do it, then I might as well get something that looks cool. And I'm kind of hoping uh, it'll keep the overclock processor nice and cool as well. Uh, I've had a quick look at the manual. It looks like a right pain in the hoop to install, but, um, well, we'll find out, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to put this in there, I think, as well, uh, which is just an IC dock. I've managed to pick up for, like, £7 on eBay um, because I do like to use a lot of kind of external hard drives and stuff, so... Um, yeah, this will just allow me to pop them in and out and wipe them for when I'm setting up uh, or refurbishing computers and things. It's just generally quite handy, uh, so I'll slap that in there as well, I think. Obviously, I've got the board, the Xeon. Uh, I've got 24 gigabytes of RAM here as well, and this is just going to be the temporary graphics card I use. Um, I do now have a 1070, which is going to go in this machine, uh, but just while I get things all set up, that'll be in there temporarily. Uh, which is just some old Radeon card. I can't quite remember the model number off the top of my head, but uh, it's one I got with uh, an old computer that I picked up for dirt cheap. Um, so I figured I might as well keep that handy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to um, hopefully put this together in one go now. I'll record the whole thing. Uh, hopefully that won't be too much of a problem, but we'll find out. Uh, let's go. I know we ain't talked in a minute, but what is time? Living in the thoughts and the visions, but between the lines, yeah. I can't even talk with the visions there in my mind. Cause every time I fall, I can feel you there by my side, yeah. So show me the way and I'll follow you. Show me the way, cause that's all I do. Take the leap of faith and I'll dive in. I'm finding this little fine light inside of you Tell me that you want me, baby That ice cold stare I just wanna know you, baby From one to three Got me looking everywhere for you Count the stars, you find me, son Tell me that you want me, baby That ice 
So it took a couple of hours. Um, it's now, uh, well, yeah, nearly three in the morning. Just got a bit of Linus on there, and yeah, it's primarily built. Uh, obviously, this isn't the final form. Uh, I'll have my graphics cards, hard drives, everything in there. For now, I've just got a 128 gig SSD. But uh, yeah, let's see if I've done this right and if it turns on. Ho ho! It's a good sign. Okay, nothing yet. Oh, that thing's lighting up. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. I actually have no idea what's on this hard drive, but uh, yeah, for now, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure it all works. So, what have we got here? Ooh. Wow, that's quite nice. Uh, as far as I'm aware, these front fans should also spin and things. So uh, I don't and light up, but I don't think I've actually installed them correctly. But the the back one is going, etc. Um, unless it's these. Nope, they're not going at all. Okay, well that's something to look at tomorrow. But um, yeah, for now. Okay, That's pretty update. cool. Uh, it's now. I like it. Pretty damn late. Um, I should have gone to bed. But you know what these things are like if you're a, a geek. Uh, I got the fans working. I just forgot to plug the power in. Um, and yeah, I'm recording because I just wanted to get all the drivers installed and download Cinebench, etc. And the very first test I've done. This is just the default state of the uh, of the board. There's no overclock or anything. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. I've just realised, having said this, I probably should have had CPU ID on there, but whatever. Um, you can see 845. So, yeah, really chuffed with that, considering this is running totally stock at the moment. Uh, hopefully should be able to smash that 1000 and start benchmarking and stuff. Uh, but I think this is where I'm going to end this video. Uh, it's probably going to crack on a little bit by the time I put this footage together, uh, so I don't want them to be too long. Um, yeah, thanks to everyone who's commented so far as well. Um, it's so lovely uh, to see the, well anyone interacting with this stuff, really. Uh, this is all something I put up really out of my own interest. Um, and the fact that people have subscribed and commented and, and they're so nice about it, it's it's fantastic. I really am uh, excited to carry on and, and do more videos and stuff. So I really appreciate it. Anyway, um, I should really crack on and get to bed. <laughs> and I'm going to call this video a day here but uh, there it is that is hopefully going to be my new PC bye bye